why are we seeing the release of these victims in batches? And some people have been able to paint a picture and really found a nexus between the jailbreak in Abuja, talking about the Kuje Medium uh, Security Facility. Can you talk to us about, you know, what you have to say concerning some who have said maybe some of those Boko Haram members, about 64 of them, who were able to escape from that Kuje facility, the connection between that release from the prison and this release, is there any connection? If there is, let us know what it is. No, sincerely, there is, there is, there is so much connection to it. And, and this is something I have shared uh, with, 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 with the authorities, especially the security agencies, even prior to this development. Because prior to the attack in Kuji, you know, they have they have issued uh, their their own demand to the federal government. You know regarding the mediation and regarding how we can secure the the, the, the other victims of the train attack, and and part of what 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 part of their demand is the release of, of their comrades. Initially, they started with 51. I single-handedly you know mediated to scale down that number to only 10 of them, and out of that 10 of them, I you know I even convinced them to send the names. I got the names of the 10 they want uh, government to release. I forwarded it to all the relevant authorities, including the leadership of the National Assembly, the, the, the uh, CDS, the Director General at DSS. All of them I forwarded it to them. And my understanding is that, you know, uh, for example, if you are at the receiving end of every negotiation, because as it is now, we are at the receiving end. They have people that are being held there. And as a responsible government, you know, we should not leave anything on turn to make sure that these innocent victims are, are, are released. So, for example, they gave us time, you know, to discuss how these 11 uh, captives will be released. And honestly, uh, there, was, there, there is virtually no words from the government. Since I forwarded that uh, list uh, through the relevant authorities and the committee, you know, I have not heard anything from them, and virtually there is even nothing for me to tell them. And, and they were provoked. They even sent an audio to me directly that since government is not willing to listen to them, they have all what it takes to ensure that, you know, they get the release of their comrades. And after about, about one week or so, you know, this attack happens. So I can assure you, you know, the way the DSS confirmed that they have shared intelligence about this attack, this is known even before this attack. But, but, but virtually little or nothing was done to, 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 to prevent the attack. And this is the unfortunate uh, 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 situation we're having in Nigeria today that even made the president to acknowledge that there is failure of intelligence. But I want to tell Nigerians that it is not only enough for the president to say there is failure in, uh, in, in our intelligence system. You know, you have to make those that are responsible in gathering intelligence or protecting the country of the nation, you know, to, 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 to really take responsibility. Because something has to be done. If a, a jailbreak of this magnitude will, will happen, you know, in, in a city like Abuja, and for, for us to... to to, to only, you know, end with condemning, you know, the act or, or saying that there is a failure of intelligence without taking any action on those that are responsible, especially at the highest official level of government. You know, I think we have not seen end to this. I will expect I, in, in a decent society, you know, most of the security chiefs resigning by now, even without the president, you know, sacking them. But this is what we have in this country. And I think a lot needs to be done for us to, 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 to see an end to this kind of uh, preventable attacks. This is really preventable and it, it will have been avoided. Right, uh, very preventive and can be avoided. But at the end of the day, um, with the president's strong statements that he released, especially on social media after um, the attack on that medium uh, facility in Kuje, one would have thought some heads would have rolled by now. He did, you know, have heads of security agencies at the villa yesterday. We thought maybe some people should have lost your job. So that way, maybe if it's the fact that we need fresh hands maybe that could have happened but that didn't happen but quickly right now you have actually talked about a lot about um the failure of intelligence i do know that some time ago you had written you said you wanted to step aside as being the negotiator in charge of uh, those who are still being held captive and you said the government 
was not being responsible. So quickly as we wrap up this conversation, what would you like to see, especially from the part of the government, to secure the release of others who are still being held, all 46 of them and other people who were you know, abducted from different villages around Kaduna State? Yeah, yeah what, what I want to emphasize is that uh, the sacrifice we are making is, is not our responsibility. We are only making this kind of sacrifice as responsible citizens, as our own contribution to, 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 to our nation. And unfortunately, this thing is not being acknowledged even by the, by the highest level of government. And I can tell you that uh, a lot needs to be done by government to ensure that, 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 that this thing is, bring, uh, is brought to an end as soon as possible. So uh, as, 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 long as, as long as government did not realize the magnitude of the crisis we have at hand, as long as government did not appreciate, for example, the effort of few people that are even sacrificing their lives, to ensure that this thing comes to an end by giving them all the necessary support to do what needs to be done. So I think, I think uh, uh, so much will happen and it will be to the detriment of the helpless citizens because as it is now, it is the common people, it is the, the, the helpless citizens that, that, that are suffering for all these lapses. And I can assure you that in the situation whereby, for example, because of a relationship between a president or somebody in government, that, for example, his excesses will be overlooked or his failure will be overlooked. This is the unfortunate uh, development we have in this country. I think notwithstanding the relationship any appointee you know, have with the president, notwithstanding the relationship of anybody with, with anybody in the highest level of government. Once you have failed in your own basic responsibilities, I think the president or the government is supposed to take immediate action in the interest of the people. This is, this is the life of the people we are, we, we are talking. This is the, the dignity of a country. Because I think, I think it doesn't speak well for even a nation like Nigeria, for example, to be publicized in, 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 in a manner that happened recently. For example, in a city like Abuja, for, for, for terrorists to, to, to go there and then and then uh, uh, and then secure the release of many of their comrades. So, and I also want to advise the government that, in view of, 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 of their own predicament, because for now, you know, we, we have an issue at hand. Government did not have proper intelligence to even dictate or stop attacks. Then, then if you have this situation, fighting a terrorist group, you know, like, like the ones we have, you know, you, you have to apply a stick and carrot approach in dealing with most of these issues. Where you need to use military force, it is allowed. You can use military force. But in a situation where military force will not yield the desired result, I think it will just be a waste of national resources, you know, like we are seeing today. Because as it is now, the, 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 the budget is very huge. And the president approves virtually everything the military, the security agencies bring because of uh, uh, to, to ensure security in the country. But what do we have in return? There is no commensurate result. If you look at the billions, you know, uh, in, in budgetary allocation, and then compared to the performance of the security agencies, you can confirm mm -hmm. that virtually they are not doing what they're supposed to do. And, and definitely somebody must be held responsible. They have to take full responsibility of what, 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 what they are doing. Our, our, our borders, look, look at the kind of sophisticated weapons these terrorists are using. Why are they getting the supply? Who is supplying them? Why, 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 why is it that, where is the money coming from? So somebody somewhere is not doing his work. And definitely in, in as much as government will not take action against this kind of appointees, or, for example, somebody will be rewarded even after woeful performance. Or somebody will be rewarded with even appointment after woeful performance. I think it doesn't encourage uh, uh, good governance. It doesn't encourage people to give in their best for the interests of their nation. Absolutely. But sadly, this is the situation we have in this country. Was ransom paid for the release of those who got their freedom today, all seven of them? Was there any money that exchanged hands? Yes or no? Honestly, I want to I want to emphasize that, as far as I'm concerned, I, 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 that there is no single cobo that was involved. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know from the individual families whether maybe they have made contact with them before this uh, uh, engagement or not. But all that I, I, I tried to do after their threat to start slaughtering these uh, 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 victims, I pleaded with them that in the absence of any move from the government, you people should please, please. 
consider a situation whereby you will give the family members the chance to at least discuss with you so that you will know their real condition. It was based on that I, I, I started engaging them. And I, com I, I convinced them that most of these people, most of these people in captivity, they have serious health challenges. In fact, life-threatening uh, 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 illnesses. And, and they too have confirmed to me that most of them, you know, are, are, are in terrible condition health-wise. So it was on the basis of this humanitarian angle, you know, I, I explore oh, and I, I keep discussing with them. Most of them, I, I have the audios and eventually God knows uh, how we, we have done and we succeeded. They said, in fact, initially they said they are even giving me six. I was even surprised when we went there, they, they decided to make the number seven.